what about now? Do do do. Michael, can you text your madrina and tell her Gato Divino? Yeah. Hello, Coke. Hold on. Can you hear me? What about now? Mm -hmm. So weird. Whoop. Okay, so now I have you differently. Yep. I don't know what happened, but okay. <laughs> I like it like this better. That works. Can you hear uh, us, guys? Can can everybody hear us now? Oh, they're saying that we seem okay now. Uh-oh. I see her. This better, is okay. way better. All right, let's start this show. So this is Gato <laughs> Divino from um, Mystic Spirit. Um, huh? So I just wanted to say hello. Um, this is my new show on Facebook Live called The Exchange, where two readers get together and we read one another and we'll pick random people and give them a little synopsis, a little preview of how we read. So today my guest is um, Lady Diana. So hi, Lady Diana. Hi. Thank you so much for having me on. I really appreciate it. No, of course, and I'm excited. You're my first guest, my first everything. You de-virginized me. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like it's getting a little dark out here in the backyard, so I have a little light. Hopefully that'll woo, be bright, but okay. We'll make Just it work. Kidding. We'll make it work. Okay. Hello, Kathy. Hi, Nikki. Hi, Shannon. <laughs> Hi, Katie. Hi, Katie. <laughs> so who wants to go first? Who wants to go first? Whichever you want to do. All right. How many cards? How many cards? You tell me. Uh, let's do three. All right. One sec. Uh, this is hilarious. You told me not to mention certain things, but they want to talk about certain things. Well, I told you just no names and we're good. <laughs> we're not mentioning names, but I just want to show you what came out. Okay. So your first card is the Nine of Cups. Of course. Then it's the Ten of Cups. Then the Page of Swords. And your foundation is the Two of Cups. You know where this is already going. Do you, Lady Diana? Okay, did you freeze? She's frozen. One second. Lady. Lady Diana. Okay, someone tried to call her. Do, 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 do. I'm trying to.
Mm. Trying to bring you on camera. One second, lady. I'm sending you a request, lady. Hi. No one call us at this moment. Yeah, for real, man. I don't know who that was. I couldn't even see who it was. <laughs> <laughs> so I was asking before, do you see where this is going? Yeah, a little bit. So basically, um, from what I'm seeing is that there's someone in your life that's really special. It's like you're yin and yang. You weren't expecting it. Right. It's something you've manifested, you put it to the universe that you wanted, that you wanted to be complete, happy, and everything. But for this relationship to develop to what you want it to be, we have to be a little patient. Oh, yeah, I know. Patience is not my virtue. I know, but it's <laughs> just one of those things that he, this individual is a good catch. Oh, yeah. But I'm throwing some cards more. Okay. Besides that, the next card is the Seven of Wands, the King of Cups, and the Four of Cups. So basically, your mental head game sometimes gets the best of you. Yeah. So sometimes you contemplate it, you kick your ass about it, you think about it, you overthink about it, whatever the case may be. Yeah, and it's absolutely. just one of those things. This individual could be a little emotional, too. I'm sorry, say it again? this individual could be a little emotional too. Oh yeah. And it's just one of those things that, um, this is the thing. Again, the cards are saying this individual is very unexpected for you. Yes, absolutely. Was not, was not planning it at all. But he completes you. Yeah. Do you remember, I use this example for everything, but um, remember the movie on um, Practical Magic? My favorite movie. So you were Sandra Bullock when you um, put this manifestation into the universe. Yes. And the universe was like, I heard you loud and clear. Yep. No, we got you. Don't worry about it. We got you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, no, that's, that's, that's real accurate. That's very accurate. Oh, thank you. Thank you. No problem. Okay, so I read a little differently than you do. It's okay. Okay. Um, do you have any specific questions? You told me to pull cards. Pull cards. Let, let me have it. Okay. All right. Hey, Justin, Nicole, Julia. Say it again? I got I'm the... Just, I'm just saying hi to the people that are wa uh, walking in. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. I, hi, Lori. We got Mike. We got Don. There's Raymond. Karina. Uh, oh, yeah. There's a bunch of people who I, I'm missing. Okay. All right. Um, all right. I drew three cards. Not a problem. Okay. And the first one that came up was the Six of Pentacles. Okay. Yep, yep. Next one was the Knight of Swords. And then the two of wands. Okay. The biggest thing that I'm getting right now, because not only do I get messages from the cards, but I hear things, I'll see things all at the same time. Um, the biggest thing I'm getting right now is that you have to be careful who you keep around you. Very true. Okay. You have to be very careful. It looks like there either there was a situation where you were being manipulated by somebody and you realized it right away, or it's a situation that's currently going on now. Okay, so you want to be very careful because people will sit there and they will kind of I'm trying to think of the best way to explain it. Um, it's almost like a they'll sit there and they'll it's a lot of gossip, a lot of back talk, a lot of just things that are going on in the background. Okay, that's the big thing. But they but the other thing that they want to say is that it doesn't matter. Don't let it affect you. It sh it, it won't affect you. But you are the one who can control how it affects you. But it's not going to because you're not going to let it. All right? Because you know that outside of all of this, who you are is exactly who you're supposed to be. What you're doing is exactly what you're supposed to be doing. Which I respect that and I really see it. Um, 
Hence why I go by Gato de Vino. I will always land on my feet. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's what the, you know, the, the two of wands is. It's all stability and it's foundations. You're perfectly fine. You have already, you already know who you are and you already know who you want to be and where you want to go from here. Cool. <laughs> you want me to pull more cards on details or sure, you want to why not? What talking about? Okay. Come on. That's why we're here. <laughs> That's it. All right, this is coming up. Do you have uh, like siblings? Yes, one. You have one sibling? Is it a younger sibling? Yes. Okay. Male or female? Male. Okay, because it's coming up, there was a younger, younger male to your side, which normally means a sibling, cousin, friend, something along those lines. Um, is there a little bit of concern in regard to your younger brother? No, but the little concern going on right now in our family is, and I'll, I shared it with you earlier. Yes. Yes. Yes, you did. Because so, there was the showing up with a lot of concern and it's circulating around the, young, the younger brother. So I didn't know if that was something that you wanted to talk about or not. No, um, we could talk about it. And I would ask um, the audience if they can say a little prayer for my mother. Last night, um, she had a heart attack. So... And I just ran into my brother today in the hospital. And I haven't spoken to him maybe in five or six years. Okay. Oh, gosh. And we're always griefing. Like, we're always bumping heads. So, whatever. Right. Well, the reason I wanted to ask is, is because the first card that I drew up again was the three of wands now. Um, normally, when I see wands, it's, it's always an indi indication to me that there is some sort of conflict surrounding the people that the cards are referring to. The reason I asked it if he was a younger brother, because the next one that came up was the Page of Wands. Uh, and then the last one is the Page of Swords, which is where I was going with the, because the next thing I was going to say was there's a lot of conflict and concern. So obviously with everything that happened with your mom last night and with uh, you seeing him today, that's where that was coming from. Um, yeah, there the is a lot of... Thing. Yeah. Go ahead. I said the ironic thing is that you're picking up on this. So more money to you? And a lot of the times my cards like to validate situations before they go into future scenarios, um, especially when there are no questions that were directed at them. They tend to validate everything first. So if you have any questions, feel free. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep going as to what I'm picking up right now. Keep going. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I do, I do see that there's a lot, again, it's coming up a lot of concern, not so much in regard to your brother's well-being, but more along the lines of like an anger or a temper. Um, so that is, that does come through pretty much, but it's, I don't want to say it's directed at you. It's just like an anger in general. Like he's quick to, he's quick to anger. Is that, yep. Okay. Okay. And I know you just said that it's been about five or six years since you've seen your brother aside from today. Um, has there been like a disconnect between you and other relatives at the same time? My entire family. I don't talk to them. Okay. This is why I asked. The last, next one that came up was the seven of wands. So it's like you against the whole world. Yep. It feels like that. Okay. That's my life. That's why I'm a cat. <laughs> Self-sufficient. <laughs> yes. Self-sufficient. Um, but it, I do get the feeling that your mom is kind of still like the matriarch of everybody, though. She's trying to be. But it, again, with everything that happened, people rallied around her between last night and today, though. Yeah. Okay. A lot of that people was coming from up the past are coming out of the woodwork. Right. Yeah. That, yeah, that's definitely coming through. Because the next one I drew was the Queen of Swords. And then the last one is the Queen of Pentacles. So she's, you know, the matriarch. Um, and she's the one everyone kind of rallies around. Mm -hmm. um, and this, this, was, this was a huge wake-up call for a bunch of people, both 
from your family and from your past and moving to the present as well as the future. This was a big wake up call. I wouldn't be surprised if this actually leads to a reconnect with not everybody in your family, but with the majority of people in your family. There are still going to be some people who are going to be set in their ways. But I wouldn't be surprised if this is going to lead to a reconnect. Yeah, the next one I drew was the Queen of Cups. So that's definitely something that's going to, this is going to come up as a huge wake up call with your, from what happened with your mom today. Hopefully it's a um, big wake up call for herself. That too. That too. There is, the next one is the Five of Pentacles. So that is going to be a lot of internal changes and internal decisions that your mom's going to have to make at the same time. Um, but again, this was a huge wake up call for her, but she's also going to see it as a good thing because it was a huge wake up call for other people at the same time. Yeah, so better, it's, late, it's, um, better late than sorry. That's, yeah, better late than never. And then it's also one of those everything happens for a reason. So yep. the last one I drew was the Four of Pentacles. So there is going to be a reconnect. So there is something that's going to, a good thing that's going to happen from this tragedy that happened today. So be prepared for that because you're going to see that as well. Not a problem. I'm going to throw three more cards for you. Please do. So. Katie uh, said she's going to keep your family in her, in her thoughts and prayers. Yes, I see. All right. Yes, Alexandra, we will. So a question. Is there a new project or an endeavor that's coming for you that you're like being a little slow in taking charge? Yeah, a little bit. The reason I say that is because you got the Knight of Swords, the Queen of Wands, and it's something spiritual. It's not something like minor. Right. Yeah, I'm, the, I'm trying to get the Blue Tarot Shop up and going as a full-fledged business. So I'm just a little slow. I'm gathering a lot of information, a lot of research, putting together projects and courses and information and stuff like that. So, so basically, this is what's going on. It's like we need to get our um, ass on running with what we have to do because it's going to be a spiritual level up for you. Yes. Besides being a spiritual level up, you're going to shine again for the individual you truly are. People are going to recognize your talents. I'm okay but this with that is too. A but this is a thing with this new shop. I don't know if you're planning to have like teachers or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. You're, you're going to run into certain individuals that are supposed to partner up with you okay? to make it bigger. But this is the thing. Sometimes you could get addicted to a, a project. We can't get addicted to this. Right. Because yeah. it's, it's going to be, it's not going to be a setback, but it's just one of those things that when you give your heart, you give it all the way in. And then you end up burning out. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You're absolutely right. But you know what's funny? Because you and I only met a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, randomly. And I, it was because I went into Mystic to pick up supplies for um, products that I was putting together for Blue Tarot. And that's Please. how you and I met. And, that, and here we are now. And then ironically, it's like, oh, I'm having a show called The Exchange. Are you interested? And you're like, yeah, let's Absolutely. do it. Absolutely. <laughs> and that's why we're here today. That's how we got here today. Absolutely. Hi, so Brian. if people wanted to reach you, how do they go about that? They can actually reach me on Facebook um, under Blue. You can do a search for Blue Tarot Counseling. That name will change soon, but it's because of the wait time for Facebook. I have to wait till I can change that. You can also find me on uh, Instagram at Blue underscore Tarot. Um, and then you can also email me at Blue Tarot Shop at gmail.com. All right. And on my behalf, you can find me at Mystic Spirit in Montclair now. I'm currently at Mystic Spirit. Besides that, um, you can find me at Gato Divino on Facebook or Gato Divino on Instagram. But basically, this page, um, this um, sh Facebook Live slash show was to show the world what we're about as readers. Two different readers that can read. <laughs> I'm not going to deny 
you're on the money. Thank you. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now we had a couple of people who left uh, questions in the comments if we were going to be doing uh, readings for anybody in the audience. We will in a few. Yep. I'm but just saying hello. Hi, this Joy. Is about Hi, us. Sydney. It's about us. <laughs> we need the doctors. That's it. That's it. Absolutely. That's it. Oh, thank you so much, Alexandra. She's so sweet. Yeah. But it's just one of those things that um, people need to realize that we do exist. They can find us on Facebook and Instagram. This is something they should be looking out. We'll be doing random checkups. And see, are you burning Palo Santo? I am. <laughs> I am, yes. It, it, it helps, when it ha especially when I haven't read this frequently. It helps to cleanse the cards with some incense. Look at the new cat that I got today. How cute. I love that. I love that so much. That's adorable. Yep. That's adorable. All right, so why don't we, you know, give some a little bit of background on us? You want sure. To do that too. How long have you been reading? I've been reading um, before becoming a professional. I could say about ten years, ten to thirteen years. Mm -hmm. But as a professional, maybe like eight years. Okay. Okay. I started. Uh, I actually started reading when I was a young teenager. Um, I started reading around 12, 13. Um, and then it was, I started um, having people ask if I would do readings for them. And then I started charging people when I was around 19, 20. Uh, cool. So I've been reading, you know, professionally, quote unquote, for about 15 years now. That's cool. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's good. And, you know, I have, like I said, it, readings vary, you know, from every, from reader to reader, obviously. Um you know, I, I will get messages. I will hear things. I will see things. Um, I did a reading for my cousin after he found out that I was doing this professionally and he was trying to test me. Oh, um, everyone tries to test us. Everybody does. Everybody does. And um, he, we talked about a friend of his who had passed away. And we're sitting on their front porch. And all of a sudden, out the corner of my eye, I see a silhouette of this gentleman who had passed away. And I was able to describe him right down to his hair color. And he had a chipped tooth. And I was able to describe the chipped tooth. And my cousin was a believer ever since. <laughs> That's beautiful. Um, basically, what I did, um, a little background on me. Um, I got initiated into Santeria about eight years ago. On September 18th will be eight years. Wow. Um, when I got initiated, they always said, oh, you're able to throw the cards. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. That's <laughs> not for me. Then out of nowhere, they're like, no, no, no. You have a gypsy that throws cards, that throws cards. I'm like, sure. Who's going to teach me? So one day I went to school. Um, some adult schools have random courses for like special interests. And I took a tarot class. Oh, after that's cool. Second, after the second class, it just came like I dabbled. Right. But it fully came through. It was like a, a download from the universe. Then I started reading professionally. Um, um, I also teach tarot. I, yes, you do. Yes. Um, I have about under me, 22 kitties. I call them kitties. I love that. I love so, that. And then we're about to start a new class in September at Mystic Spirit. But um, tarot is just amazing. I love how tarot Without even knowing, you don't need to know the person. They rat you out. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And then people Absolutely. are like, how the hell do you know that? I don't know. I also get communications from spirit individuals. It's not an automatic because that's not what I try to do. But they come and then the cards start talking to me. Oh, yeah. Just like crystals talk to me. Yep. Yep, I'll get, you know, like, some cards will get, like, shimmery almost, um, so I'll, and I'll have to pull them at that point. Um, I kind of refer to it um, as a door opens, and always, it's very hard to close it once that door is open. Um, yep. But a lot of this, as I've gotten older, because I thought I was crazy when I was, when I was a kid, and I could knew, know things before anyone else did. I was able to hear things no one else did. I thought I was crazy. 
Um, and then come to find out, no, I have relatives on both sides of my family that were able to do certain things. And I have a grandmother on my father's side that always knew when someone was coming to the house. And so little things here and there. And, and someone used to read uh, uh, on my father's side also. Someone used to read uh, tea leaves on my mom's side. My mom, actually, she would have dreams. She dreamt of somebody. It was a spirit or a guide or something along those lines. She doesn't even really know. But she was this guide, but she would dream about her. And women would tell her things that were going on in the family. Whether someone was sick, someone was having a baby, if it was a boy or a girl, what the name was going to be. So she was getting all this information. My mom says that because I, she got pregnant with me and then had me, it stopped happening to her. So I got it all. So, oh, so you, know, you got to download. I got it on both sides. I couldn't get away from this if I wanted to. <laughs> but, I, you know, it took a while to... Um, get accustomed to it and get used to it without thinking that you were, you know, that there was something wrong with you. Um, I'm also one of those people that as I'm driving someplace, I can tell when a, a cemetery is coming up cause I'll hear it. It's like static all of oh, a sudden. Cool. And so I'll see it right away and, and I'll feel it right away. And I'm just like, all right, we got to move over. Cause I know if I'm driving on like a highway, I have to move the furthest lane away from the cemetery. Otherwise I will get distracted. Yeah. So that's fun. <laughs> yep. Hi, Elba. Hi, Betsy. I'm just saying hi to people that are just chiming in right now. No problem. Yeah, I'm just keeping an eye on everybody. Hi, Aunt Debbie. <laughs> Is there anyone that you would like to tap into? Well, I saw Alexandra had asked if the audience would get a reading. So I think we should start with her and then we can go on to see if anybody else would like one. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, I got to shuffle again. <laughs> yeah. Routine. It's a routine. Now, what deck are you using? I, I don't even know. <laughs> I just read whatever. <laughs> I always carry three decks. But I think this is a Llewellyn deck. It looks like it. it's very pretty. The imagery is very pretty regardless. Yeah. My working deck is normally the uh, vampire deck. Um, and I have a couple decks that I will work with, but this is the one that I actually keep separated from, from all the other decks because I collect them also. I'll collect decks just because the imagery is pretty. I won't be able to read them. But I can still, you know, I can I still like the imagery and I still appreciate them. But that's a good point because, like, in all honesty, I could read most decks. And look, I go by Gato Divino. But the cat tarot, I'm like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah, I, there are and very few like... light decks that... Hmm? What were you gonna say? No, I say there are very few light decks that I can that I can work with. I'm drawn to like the darker decks. Um, one of my other favorite decks is the Mary L Tarot, um, limited edition. It's like it's printed almost like on demand when you order it, and it's beautiful. The imagery is so so pretty. Um, but I do I am tend I am, I do tend to draw myself to the darker decks. The steampunk deck is also a very cool looking deck. Also, um, I think but I've I always seen come it. Back have you, seen the, the um, have you seen the um, tattoo tarot? Yes. They're beautiful. They are, yeah. I actually just picked up an Alice in Wonderland tarot, the new one that, that was just released. Um, I have a pre-order in for the Starman tarot, the David Bowie inspired one. Um, I have a pre-order in for that. And I just picked up and the I think TV the Game series. Of Thrones came out with a tarot deck? Yes, yes. That's cool looking. That is very cool. I haven't looking. seen it yet. All right. So the Im the imagery is beautiful. For... How many cards um, are we throwing for you, Alexandra? Uh, you want to do three apiece? Yes. Let's go. Go for it. Get I'm pulling again. All right, so the three cards for Alexandra is that there's a Knight of Pentacles, 
on the Justice card and the Eight of Cups. Knight of Pentacles. Justice. And the Eight of Cups. So what I have to tell you, Alexandra, is that I don't know if you have like a job promotion or something coming or looking into something new with a venture or a promotion, but it's coming at the same time. I don't know if you're dealing with any legal matters or you've done, um, had a dispute with someone. Don't worry about it. Justice is on your side. But there's certain things you need to walk away from and let it go. Because it's just one of those things that sometimes your past holds you back from succeeding certain things in life. Katie, you can watch us. We're going to have this like every month or bi-monthly. Or maybe me um, and Lady Blue can do it like once a month and then have um, guest readers. Absolutely. That'd be great. I'd love so that. So we can build up the momentum and just move forward. I like it. That's perfect. That's so perfect. does that make sense, Alexandra? She said okay, but I don't know what she's saying okay about. <laughs> yeah, I got when I pulled, I got similar cards for Alexandra. I got similar cards. Um, while we were waiting for her to respond, I pulled the uh, Eight of Wands. Okay. Then I pulled the, she started a new job two months ago. Yep. Uh, then I got the Devil card. And then the Death card. What I'm going to ask Alexandra, and I'm going to hope that you just, that, that you can type in your answer real quick. Um, do you like the new job? Is it something that you really wanted to do? That, that's where I was going with this. Because what I'm seeing right now is that there's an, another transition coming in for Alexandra in regard to the position. Um, it, it almost, I want to say I, I'm getting like that nervous, antsy, like butterflies in the stomach feeling. Um, and normally when that happens, it's something that you were unsure of. She has, there's no overtime there. Okay. She likes the job. All right. Um, cause I don't see a longevity for this new position cause the devil card and then death came up. There is going to be something that's, that happens that you're going to find something better. There's still more changes coming, whether it's a promotion within that company or just finding a whole new job completely. Cause it's that gut wrenching, like nervous anxiety tension. Um, so it's like almost, it wasn't what she was expecting. So, I, I, I'm also picking up this sort of thing. I don't know before she started this job if she applied to another place. But I think it's like a delay proposition to something or else. something like that. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely it's definitely a delay. It's de like there's definitely more changes come. Um, I'm not normally very good at giving time frames, Alexandra, but the first thing the first number I'm getting right now is three. Um, so that could be three weeks, three months. I, I tend to stay away from years. Um, but I am getting three, so I am going to say there's probably going to be, I'm going to go with my gut feeling and say three months. Um, but I don't see many other, I don't see a lot of longevity in with this current position. There's something that that's going to change for her and it's going to be for the better though for you. And I think she has to let go of a lot of things that are holding her back in the sense that I don't know. You know how sometimes we don't forgive and forget, and it's just like things repeat, and it's like, why is it repeating? Yep. Yep, it's a karmic so, situation. With this job. Yeah, it, it's, a, it's a karmic situation. There's something that, that she, there's a lesson that has to be learned, and that's why she's repeating it. But that happens with a lot of people, though. That's why a lot of people get stuck in situations they don't want to be in. Yep. Perfect. Did that help, Alexandra? I think she got kicked out for a second, and she's saying, I'm back now. Okay. She can always um, review this because I'm putting it, um, I'm saving it and putting it out there. Um, Norma says she likes the candles. She says, yes, very hard. 
Okay. All right. Uh, well, you know, the, but there, there's a good change coming though for you, Alexandra. It, I, I understand. And, and, and it's, it, but there is a good change coming. You just got to, you know, tough it out for a little bit until you can pick up. This is, I want to say, I kind of, I want to say, I agree with you that there was a position she applied for, um, that she applied for before she took this job. And I think that one's actually going to come up. That one's going to come in for her. I think um, that one's going to probably be the change that she's, that she's waiting for. No, I don't. Oh, Norma's talking about the candles behind you. Oh, these? Yeah, she likes the candles behind you. Does she like my little coffins? <laughs> you oh, like the little coffins, Norma? <laughs> Look how cool they are. Welcome back, Katie. <laughs> those are really cool. Those are really cool. I like those a lot. <laughs> okay, one of the other places you applied to, Alexandra, I think those that's going to come out and offer you a position or offer you at least another interview, and I think that's where you're going to end up going. So just kind of be patient. Yep. The, a, change, a big change is coming, though, for you in regard to employment. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Is there anybody else you want to – we have a couple people who said that they wanted readings. So I don't know – I gotta scroll back up. I think we missed a few. Um, yeah. I see Nikki said she wanted one. It, but Nikki is Nikki said, still here? Nikki, you still here, Nikki? Oh, she's still here. I see her icon. <laughs> Kathy, they're great, aren't they? Okay. Yeah, I see Nikki and Debbie. Is she still here? All right, we'll go with okay, Nikki. Now I actually, now I actually uh, know Nikki, so I'm going to let you do her because the, I, I have a hard time reading people I know. Oh, really? That's so I'm okay. Really close with. Yeah, so I, I actually have a hard time, especially relatives. I have a hard time reading relatives. Yeah, sometimes you think of things being for you, and sometimes it's not. But we need to let go of the past, Alexandra. Thank you, Alexandra. All right. I know oh, you're you have a hard welcome. time. I know you have a hard time reading people you know. Um, can you just throw three cards on for Nikki and I'll tap into that? Perfect. I can do that. Oh, and I'll throw three cards for Nikki and you read those cards. <laughs> okay. We'll see. We'll we'll see how this works. It's gonna work. I'm glad you came back, Katie. Ooh. Nikki, what are you doing, Nikki? Why? I got the Three of Cups. Uh-huh. The Chariot. Okay. And the Seven of Wands. All right. And for Nikki, I got the devil, the sun, and the hangman. Wow. Damn, girl. Okay. Um, I have a hard time with this. All right. I'm going to oh, see if I, can, if, I can read, if I can read the ones that I got here. If you want to okay. start with your three, and then I can pull up and see what I can get from these. Because we haven't really talked about much, uh, Nikki, so this is going to be interesting. Hi, Wada. Hi, Jason. Hi, Luke. Okay. Nikki, are you thinking about moving? Are you and the family thinking about moving? There is some sort of movement going on with you in the, with in regard to the family. There is movement, whether it's moving houses, 
there is some there's a big movement that's in the middle of your situation with the family right now. Your parents aren't. Are your parents moving? Is because there's something. <laughs> All I see is the flashing lights. Um, because there is some sort of steady movement that's coming, a steady change that's coming. Okay. All right. Because it's a, all I kept seeing is family life, house movement. So that's why I thought you guys were moving again. I thought you were coming back up north or something. Um, hi, Johnny. Um, all right, I do see that. I do see there is that movement. If it's in regard to you guys buying a house, I can see that. Um, it's not going to be as easy as you think it will, though. There is going to be some struggles with buying the new house. Yeah, I'm struggling because I I because I know her personally. I'm struggling. It's okay, but um. We'll tap into what you said. So, again, you said the yeah. Seven of Wands. What else? The Seven of Wands, the Chariot, and the Three uh -huh. of Cups. The three, the three of Cups, Chariot, and Seven of Wands. So, um, with what Lady Diana um, threw out for you, Nikki, what I'm picking up from that is this sort of thing. You have... Um, two other girlfriends that you're really tight with. And it's just one of those things. Continue moving in the path that you're um, moving on because it's the correct thing. And stop worrying about so many other people's problems. It's an overwhelming. Oh, yeah, that's a big one. It's a, it's a big overwhelming. And it's just one of those things that sometimes that's your setback. And then ironically, on my cards, you get the devil card, the sun and a hangman. I don't know if you're dealing with depression right now or something in that sort that's bringing you a little down, but we need to get out of that funk because you allow it. Because you're a ray of sunshine and you're the type of person that when you're around people, you make people happy. You don't see it, but we know you do. So we need to change that way of thinking for you so we can move forward and get where we, we want to get to. Because something like how um, Lady Diana was saying, you want to move, you want to buy a house. But sometimes you doubt yourself and your potential. Hello, Nikki. He does. See, no, maybe so. She said, she, she said you were so right. And she said, yes, she is. Okay. See, Lady Diana, we can do it. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So that's only... I feel bad. I really want to tap into more, more like, like, go deeper. But if you want to look for us, you can find us on Facebook and Instagram. Absolutely. Is it, this is not like selling ourselves, but in all honesty, we do exist. We're here. And we're here to help. Absolutely. Need spiritual counselors? We're here. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So let's see. Um, Goquet. Let's see if Goquet's still around. Say something. I know she's putting hearts and thumbs up. Oh, guys, don't worry if you missed part of the video or at the beginning or the end or the middle. Uh, once this is uploaded onto Facebook, we're going to go ahead and put it on YouTube as well. Yes, we will. Oh, she's there. Okay. Can we throw three cards for you? Oh, Norma's being evil. <laughs> Go get laughed. Pick me. Pick me. Go get. Can we throw three cards? Absolutely. Okay, let's do it.
the first thing I'm picking up, Coquette, is there's a, a younger a younger child, whether it's actual child or like a, a, a son, daughter, nephew, niece, but that's someone who's very prominent around you. Does that make sense? Moves waiting for a response. Yes, okay. my daughter. There it is. Perfect. There it is. Okay. All right. There was some sort of, again, change. The first card I drew in regard to in regard to that, uh, the first thing that came up was there was a young child. Um, but the first card I drew was the Four of Swords, and then the Page of Pentacles. Okay, and then the Death card. Okay. Um, there is some sort of change. I don't know if it's her first year for going to school or if it was a new school or something along those lines. Um, but there is a change that is revolving around her, um, and you. So I don't know if this was, again, I want to say school right away, or if this was like a new school, like you guys have moved and she's going to a new school, something along those lines. And there is a bit of concern or worry in regard to that. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. I'll answer for her. <laughs> First year of college. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that'll do it. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh God. I, I do. I get the anxiety just thinking about that. <laughs> okay. It's her baby girl. I, I can see that. Yeah. It, it's a very close knit bond between the two of them too. Very close knit bond. Um, and it was a lot of concern and a lot of worry. Is she going to like a school out of state? No, in Jersey. It is in Jersey. Is it? But is it far enough away that she's staying on campus? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, because that's what I'm. Because it's like I get that that fear, she says, that anxiety. My princess. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Um, popping in and out. Okay. Um, all right. So uh, yeah, that was the the. I see a lot of worry and a lot of anxiety there about her staying on campus, staying there. She's going to be fine. It's a big change. There is going to be some adjustment for her. Um, and she's going to learn real quick, though, who she can and cannot trust. Um, she has a very strong foundation. That came up right away. The next card that I drew was the uh, Two of Pentacles. Uh, the one after that was the Six of Wands. And then the last one I drew was the Fool. Okay? She is not very naive she's not very naive she's very street smart she's very it's an adjustment for me <laughs> i totally understand that i totally get it um but she's she you don't have to worry you did a great job with her she's very strong she's very smart she's very well adjusted she's gonna be perfectly fine there are gonna be you know the regular rigmarole that comes with going to college for the first time and you know being a freshman and being so far away from home and not going home to mom and family um but she's going to be fine. There's, again, the regular rigmarole, but nothing serious. Nothing serious at all. She's very smart, very strong. It keeps coming up. They keep wanting me to reinforce the, the, the strength that she has and the willpower she has. She's going to be perfectly fine. And look, someone just said Maria Navarro. She is her mom. I do see that. But wait, wait. Okay. Oh, you're very welcome. Wait, we, we're not finished. Gato needs to speak. Absolutely. So um, the first card you got is the Ten of Pentacles. Then you have the Wheel of Fortune. The Five of Wands. Your foundation card is um, the Magician. So basically what I'm picking up here is that you and your family are where they need to be. You, your guys are, um, like, everything is where it needs to be. At the same time, the timing's correct for everything to happen how it's supposed to happen. Stop second-guessing yourself because sometimes you feel like you're fighting the world, but you're just fighting yourself. And you're a magician. You can make anything possible. You put your mind to it, and it's created. That's how powerful you are. So it's like Absolutely. if you worry about your daughter that things are going to happen wrong or blah, 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 
You're putting that to the universe. So let's reframe from thinking like that. Yep, she's always fighting herself. So, yeah. One of the big things that it got I always... It's really dark where you're at. I know. I'm outside. <laughs> I'm in the backyard. <laughs> I'm, in, um, I'm at Mystic Spirit. Um, one of the big things I always tell clients, customers, stuff like that, uh, is whatever you see, that's what you're going to get. So if you're looking for the positive, if you're always looking for the good, that's what you're going to see. If you're constantly waiting for the other shoe to drop, if you're constantly waiting for something to go wrong, that's, that's all you're going to see. You're constantly going to see the worry. You're constantly going to see the anxiety. You're constantly going to see it. <laughs> it's the Gato show. <laughs> We have to make it fun. Absolutely. I love the, the, you know, the raving coffins. I love it. Michael's. Go to Michael's. Oh, is that what you got, though? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Vicky. So, um, Lady Diana, I think this is good for today. We'll um, talk again. But um, maybe the next time we do this, maybe we'll create it and we can interview other readers. That works. Yeah, we'd have to be in the same room then and we can get somebody else to come in. Yep. That'll work. We can do that. Absolutely. And then we'll make that happen because I really enjoyed your company today. Me um, too. I had a lot of fun. It was so different. <laughs> Got those putting, putting light, light in my reading. reading. Yes, you need the light, <laughs> love. So um, besides, <laughs> like, I really enjoyed this. This is something new. It was the first time, and I think it was excellent. And I think the only reason I would meet up with you is because I wouldn't want these glitches to happen. Right. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't, I don't yeah, the, the phone call thing, that was out of my control, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, no, I, but, I mean, we got to figure it out now. And, like I said, I found the way from the business pages. We can do the cross-posting, so we can do that also. Um, I got to, you know, apply it though and yep. put it on and I'll show you how to do that too. Um, I also tagged, um, on blue tarot shop on it. Perfect. So Perfect. again, this, this is Gato Divino, um, from the exchange, um, had a guest called Lady Diana. Um, how you can reach her is on Facebook or Instagram. You could check the low flyer that um, we were advertising this show. Our information is there. But thank you guys for joining us. This was really, really fun. Yes, thank you so much for joining. We had a great time. Sorry we couldn't get to everybody else for the readings, but we'll do this again soon. Or maybe the next time they could PayPal us and we could do little mini readings. We can do that, absolutely. That'd be great. Like on a separate show. Yeah, that'll work. Perfect. We should do a radio talk show. What do you think? Like a podcast? Yeah. I was actually looking into that already. So, yeah, we could totally talk about that off camera. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Diana and Gato de Vino. Thank you guys so much for joining us for the exchange. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>